Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you an extreme overclocking session with the Ryzen 7 2700X and the Crosshair 6. The goal of today was the world record of the Super PI 32MB, but unfortunately it seems that my CPU doesn't get past 5.7 GHz, that is the frequency needed to accomplish this. But anyway, I got a third place and I'm really happy with that. Uh, overclocking is not only about preparation, because to prepare a session like this you need to spend hours or days testing a platform, optimizing the operating system and the memories. And, but sometimes, always, you require a bit of luck. Sometimes the silicone doesn't give you what you need. In my case, the frequency, I have a very strong memory kit, a good motherboard, but again, uh, I wasn't able to achieve the frequency needed for this record. To record this session, I placed a webcam right here to show you everything from different angles. And well, I'm still testing this new video setup, so if the quality is not okay, uh, don't worry, uh, I'm working on it for the next one. Um, the session was about 3 hours and um, I'm gonna cut everything that is boring and leaving you all the fun parts. Okay, so enjoy the session. Now that the system is up and running, we can start pouring some liquid nitrogen. To check if everything is ok, I usually open car temp and I check manually if we are more or less at the same level. So we have 3 degrees and 5 degrees in car temp. So that I'm sure the paste is correctly set. Now below zero is useless as a tool, so we are keep reading in this display. We have uh, the CPU pot in one number and the core IHS, the head spreader in the other one. It will take a while while the CPU pot reaches the lowest temperature. So we are going slow and do some benchmark, check if everything is ok, at least at minus 100 degrees. Then we start raising the voltage and check again if everything runs correctly. Now we are at minus 105 degrees, everything seems normal and working correctly, so we can start bringing down again the temperature. Now I can start do some tests at 5.2. As you can see, multiple run works very well on Ryzen because sometimes you can get a very low score between the average. So the key is to find the right the right one. We are reaching minus 170. There's very little difference between the core HS and the CPU port.
Sometimes when the system crash at minus 190, I have to warm up the CPU before I can boot again. This is what happens when you push the motherboard to the limits. Sometimes everything goes different than the route you planned. And in this case, I have to reboot again until I have the correct value in the tool. Extremely clocking need patience and a lot of time to find the best settings and to troubleshoot the problem that you have. And when you go that extreme, the problems are a lot. And there's everything new every time. So it's very unpredictable. Now, for example, we are stuck with this error. I'm using a new BIOS. I thought it was perfect, but then again, you go sub-zero and you discover a lot of issues. Even when you spend hours and days at testing, there's something wrong that happens in the worst time ever. I will cut a lot of the part of this video, but it's now 51 minutes that I'm on this session. After more or less half an hour, I was able to get the system back again and uh, running. So uh, now what I'm trying to do is to reach 5.6, 5.6 and 50 and start from there. I know that at 5.7 the system most likely will crash, so I have to stay in between 5.6 and 5.7. Now I'm trying a full Super PI 32 mega run to see if it holds at 5.563. I'm running full pot, so I'm ab about 190 degrees Celsius. And now I just need to keep the pot full of liquid nitrogen. After this run, I will try to improve the frequency step by step by 25 megahertz. If I can finish this run, so if the system does not crash, I should be able to achieve the fourth position. With the last test, I'm now placed in the third position, so now I'm going to raise a little bit the frequency and do some consequent run that I might get a good score and place in second position. I don't think I can get to the first one, but well, let's try again. I am very happy with my third position, but I'm not going to stop here, so I'm gonna try again with other CPU to see if I can improve my score. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find my hardware bot profile in the description. Well, if you have any question about this video, write me in the comment section, and I hope you had fun, and see you soon!